Hello, and welcome. You have clicked the video that will be representing a wedding. A wedding of two individuals that obviously I care about, and you care about, because you clicked the video. Now, I'm making this video as a preservation for my brother and my future sister-in-law. Well, she's probably my sister-in-law by now because I would have married them by now. <laughs> no, I'm making this video for their children and for their grandchildren if they so desire to watch it, if they're not playing with their hoverboards by now. But mostly it's for the two individuals so they can come back and see the moment over and over again if they so desired. I hope everything goes exactly how they want. And I wish them the happiest of times. And I know that you all wish for the same thing. And if for some reason it looks like I'm crying, I'm not. You're crying. Now, come with me on this journey as I try to preserve each moment as it proceeds through these next few days. For me, anyways. <laughs> I would like, if I may, to be your guide. So please follow along and enjoy the ride. Geronimo. Hello and welcome back. So today is the day. Everybody is asleep behind me. What you just saw was the scenery that I'm seeing for today's wedding. It will be taking place just behind me. So let's see how everyone's doing. I'm not going to wake everybody up, but we'll see how people get up in the morning. So let's see how the day progresses. You're the first one to wake dude. Am I? Yes. No, technically Cherish was the first one awake. <laughs> are you excited for today? Oh yeah. Cherish, are you excited? Are you so excited for the stress of today? No, it's not stressful. <laughs> you make it stressful. If you just relax and enjoy it, then it's not gonna be stressful. It's like someone saying something that's gonna kill you from the sleep. That's true. <laughs> Like, if you're sitting there, you're like, oh my god, I'm so stressed out, and it's going to be stressful. But if you're just like, enjoy today, then you enjoy it. Recording so those words for prosperous futures. <laughs> for, like, 2 o'clock when I'm like, I'm not ready! Let me show you this person who said, don't stress out. It's you. <laughs> Six hours <laughs> later, <laughs> there's a the mess. Lipstick's on sideways. I can't find my shoe. I'm not wearing shoes, but I can't find my shoe. Sorry, not now. <laughs> And this is how the day will progress. <laughs> Let's see what the boys are up to. Look, it's the boys. Hello, oh, boys. Are you excited for today? Let's ask the big boy how he feels. Oh, that's a nice reaction. <laughs> Everyone's gonna see that in history. How you doing? You excited for today? That's his answer. Mm. Oh. Unless you're gonna answer the questions like 50 times. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's his answer. We'll continue as the day goes on. 
finally awake? <laughs> you excited for today? That's good. <laughs> you like the scenery outside? Yeah. <laughs> I'll drink some beer with you. <laughs> For some reason, there's just so much sand at this at this wedding. It's not even funny. Look, we have to sweep all the sand now. It's ridiculous. Master, don't you just hate all the sand? Master, don't you just hate the sand? Force to sweep. You gotta force to sweep your sand, man. <laughs> you want me to leave? Yeah. <laughs> You're an angel. Okay, let's talk about the bride. Alright, All right. so go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hey, my name is Jesse. I'm Trisha. Farmer, correct? Yeah, yeah we're, we're the farmer. We're the farmer. <laughs> and this is going to Vivian. I hope you know who I am. <laughs> Alright, um. How long have you guys known the bride and the groom? Since sixth grade. Sixth grade. Wow, so long time, huh? Yeah. Very long time. You know how long. Don't act like you're surprised. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've been around that time too, but <laughs> so you guys have now been married for what? A couple of years now? One year. One yeah. year on May fifteenth. Fantastic! Well, Congratulations. Fourteen. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'll edit that for you, Jesse. <laughs> I'll have her voice go over your voice going 14th. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, is there any advice that you guys would give to the bride and groom? Uh, first advice would be for Brandon to fuck off. <laughs> I wanted to get dressed. You're supposed to not say anything. Either. Oh, okay. That's fine. It's Jesse. I'll, I'll let it slip. <laughs> the, I mean, the best advice is you, you are two human beings. And human beings are going to fight, and everybody fights. Me and Trisha fight, um, and no matter even, even if you find the perfect person, you're going to fight. And don't let those fights be big. The there's a lot of times it's something stupid. You will move past it, and no, even during the fight, you guys still love each other. So just move past them eventually. You know, talk it out, find compromise, and move past it. Trisha. Anything else you'd like to add? No, nope, that's good. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much and hope you guys enjoy the day. <laughs> Alright, hello. Hello. Uh, what are your names? Logan. Jerish. <laughs> How long have you known the bride and groom? Uh, I've known Vivian since high school and I've uh, been hanging around uh, Nestor for about two years. Fantastic. I've known them both for about a year and a half. <laughs> Are you two married? No. No? Any plans? No. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> <laughs> if you could give any kind of advice to a married couple, even though you're not married, what would be a subtle advice that you would give? Don't kill each other. Okay, great start. That's, uh, that's pretty subtle, I approve. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm not quite sure on that one. Uh, not quite my... Uh, Room of expertise, I would say. <laughs> um, my great grandma always said, "Don't go to bed angry." That's very solid advice. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Have a good day. Enjoy the day. I will try. <laughs> you too. Are you ready? Hello. <laughs> what are your names? <laughs> I'm Rush. I'm Vivian's dad. Mm -hmm. Michelle. Vivian's I speak mom. More projection. Michelle, Vivian's <laughs> mom. Perfect. How long have you two been married? We've been married for what? We've been together 20 years. 20 years. That's fantastic. We haven't wow. been married that long because I like <laughs> to try my shoes on before I buy them. <laughs> That's already great advice. <laughs> Is there any advice that you would wish to present for your groom and bride for today? Uh, yes. Uh, 
Vivian and Nestor, uh, as my mom always says, you know, never, never go to bed mad at each other, and always walk side by side. Never take the lead. You know, you're both one now. So that's togetherness. And I hope that I've and your mother has been a great example for that because we we have a pretty special relationship. You know, we, we trust each other and I hope we bestowed that into your thinking. So Michelle. I'm just gonna go over it. You got this. I'm so happy for you. I know that your dad and I have given you a great example and that you truly have found your life partner and life's too short to be unhappy. Communicate and make sure that you're headed where you want to go. I love you so much. I know you guys will be happy together. Give us a lot of grandchildren, <laughs> but not right now. <laughs> uh, All right, thank you so much, and I hope you guys enjoy the wedding. Okay, I'd like to say one more thing. Go ahead. Uh, Vivi, I'm, I met you when you were four years old. And just to, you sealed the deal for me. I've loved you ever since. I love you. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Hello. Hi. What is your names? Como se llaman? Sandra. Hector. ¿Y cuántos años conocieron la esposo y la esposa? <laughs> Desde que nació, 26 años atrás, Néstor, es mi son. Baby. Desde la escuela. 10 years. <laughs> If you had advice for the bride and groom, what would you tell them? We will. Veo el cámara que me congelé. Uh, les diría que mucha suerte, a lot of luck with their future. Make sure they work hard at the relationship and they continue to live a good life uh, and be a good example for their kids. Mi mamá. He's my baby. My first baby. I wish to you be happy. I wish to you have beautiful family, love and respect. Bibi, you say this morning, today is my day and I'll be married with my best friend and with your love, honey. When you guys have problems, you tell I want to talk with my best friend. And when I'm finished, I need to, my husband take care of me. So remember that, honey. Talk, love, and respect. I love you so much, guys. And I'm very happy because I have a daughter now. And I love you forever. We're very happy that it's going to come to a good wedding and a good family coming out of this thing. So I'm very happy for both of you and welcome to our family, Bibi. Love you guys. Thank you. Hi, my name is Saeed Alvarez. I've known the groom for 23 years, 24 in July. He's been one of the best brothers I could have possibly hoped for. 
And I've known Vivi since I was in middle school. Playing soccer and I'm happy that they found each other. That they're both very close friends of mine. My very best friends. And I wish for them the best. And a very happy marriage. I love you both. And I wish for many years to come happiness for both of you. I hope that I'm also there to enjoy the festivities of watching you both grow old and meeting your children. So, Geronimo. <laughs> All right, hello. 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 What are your names? I'm Brandon. This is Kat. <laughs> How long have you two been together? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> if you had any advice to give, what would it be for the bride and groom? So don't be like Logan in Cherish. <laughs> Every day Logan comes home from work and he's like, man, I'm so tired. And Cherish looks at him and she's like, what the fuck is this? And it's a dish, right? Because he didn't do the dishes because he was at work all day. And she just beats him and beats him. And, like, I can't go to sleep because Logan's just screaming in pain. <laughs> Cat. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Anything sentimental works, too. The silence answers all. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Two and two make one. <laughs> right? Yeah. So it just goes on your jacket. Do some serious damage. <laughs> right? <laughs> Any second thoughts? <laughs> Let them know now. <laughs> it's kind of a real bitch to push it through. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> What's your name? Nestor. Full name? Nestor Alvarez Moreno. Are you excited for today? Yeah. Do you have a message for yourself? For Not the future? Really. Just don't be a dumbass. <laughs> Listen to Vivi sometimes. And uh, stay in the country. <laughs> <laughs> Just something you want to tell Vivi? I love it. Very much. I'm excited. For her to be my wife. I'm really excited for you, Nestor. We're gonna have lots of adventures. Say goodbye. Hi, Vivi. Hi. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Are you excited? Yeah. Do you have a message for yourself, for the future? For myself? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Would you like a, a, a an insight as to what Nestor said? Oh my god. It's really simple. It's really simple. Don't forget the chili Some, beans. No, no. <laughs> no, something to himself. He said, don't fuck up. Oh. <laughs> Remember that love is a choice. It's more than just a feeling. Make sure to project a little more, a little bit. Can you not hear me? No, I can hear you. I'm pretty oh, sure you can hear. Okay. I just want I want to be here clearly. Like scream at me if you want to. Scream at you. <laughs> You've done it before. <laughs> Do you have a message for Nestor? <laughs> I know it's really hard not to cry. 
I'll always have chili beans in the house. <laughs> <laughs> You're already winning the funny thing on this on this whole I'm not thing. Not trying to be funny. That no, was serious. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> And that's exactly what he said. <laughs> Are you enjoying how today's turning out? Yeah. Nothing bad I happened? Didn't, I didn't have a stressful meltdown at <laughs> 2 o'clock like I said I was going to earlier. <laughs> we made it through all day with no bridezilla. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst, so far the worst part that happened? Um, at about 3.50, I was tired of being in my undergarments <laughs> and really anxious to put my dress on. And everyone kept telling me to wait. And I was like, oh my god, I'm naked. <laughs> I need some clothes. <laughs> and then everyone kept trying to knock on the door. I'm like, guys, you don't understand. I'm naked. I'm in my tonies. <laughs> what so far, besides, you know, the actual wedding that will take part downstairs, has been the most exciting part? most exciting part mm -hmm. like just of today or? yeah just like what what small thing happened that just kind of lifted your spirits for today well i mean the fact that it's happening in general like, <laughs> Mister doesn't like to be the center of attention no so no he does not That's... when the <laughs> fact that he's actually like excited to have a wedding he always told me that we were gonna have a courthouse wedding <laughs> yeah he's like i'm gonna marry you we're gonna go to the courthouse and i'm like no that's not how it's happening <laughs> Um, putting the dress on just now was really... And you look lovely. Thank you. It's not done yet. Really? <laughs> really. Jesus, is it like a transformer? Does it, does it fly? <laughs> no, the dress is on, but like there's some jewelry and... Oh, of course, of course. And a veil, and I gotta find a place to put my vows so I don't lose them. Usually it's the bra. Yeah, I was thinking about having chairs hold them. Oh, okay, that works too. All right, I'll see you downstairs. Okay. And, uh, actually, you might see me a couple minutes prior to, so I can set up the camera over there. That's <laughs> but, uh, I'll see you downstairs okay. for everything. Say goodbye. Bye.
Well, I'm not a very good speaker. <laughs> but, I want to wish you the happiness that a marriage deserves, the respect that you guys should have each other, so you guys can create those beautiful children you're hoping to get, and give them that improvement of better life and better education as we move forward on generations. But for him, the only thing I remember is I bought him his first birthday cake for his first birthday. And I never met him before. <laughs> but I know it was the future of something great. And that's one of the things we always remember. I adopted him as my own blood, my own son. And I didn't even know him. And I love him. And I know he's a good man and will be a good man to you. Salud. 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 Remember that one all the time. When you feel sad, when you feel mad, when you feel frustration, you tell him, I need to tell with my best friend. And when I'm finished, I need to my husband. You guys are two kids, very lucky. Because you have wonderful dad in his mind of You have a wonderful dad.
Ben Hogan thing. Well, actually, all my shirts are Ben Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> You're destroying it. <laughs> I'm going to say shirts. I got them on a leg of like, both now. I need my feature on the side. Yes. How does that? A little bit longer. A little longer. You did it, Viv. You set up the ultimate trap. I set up the ultimate trap. <laughs> <laughs> Levels of success. I got you when you. <laughs> There's no going back now. Why would I want to? Exactly. <laughs> oh god! Once you get into once you get into stocks and diversifying money within a within a retirement. So this is how our story ends, or so it begins. I'm really proud of my brother and my sister-in-law, and I'm hoping that you all enjoyed this trip with me. I'll be sure to continue on where I leave off from here. Hopefully something happens for me too. Until then, have a Zavala day. Geronimo.